In this episode of Sus Rugby's Insight, we'll cover part one of a two-part series where we look at the French play England in this year's Six Nations. Uh, first, we'll cover their set piece and their pattern or play, how they want to try and manipulate England to create space. From there, in the second part, we'll see how Teddy Thomas, how they manage from open play to break the line. And then once they get into this 22 red zone, how they utilize the forwards power game and then how they flood the backs to the side to create this uh, beautiful try. So if we start with the lineup and look what kind of pattern or map or whatever you want to call it they run with. They go over seven man and what that does is really confines the English all their forwards to that space obviously and you'll see how this ties in tactically with what they want to do. But in saying that, it obviously gives the defenders more pods to contest with. What the French does really well is what people call tempo lineups. So a hooker within three seconds of getting the ball, the ball is in and they can play. Obviously before the time in the huddle, they'll get a call with maybe one or two bailout options. If that's not on, in, in this instance, it looks like with the bailout in front, Willems are dumbing to the back, the space is open and it's a perfectly executed throw jump. On the delivery as a little side note, ideally you want to deliver that ball for the nine into his path so he can run onto it and just buys you that extra millisecond to deliver the ball. For the back's execution is straightforward, skip pass to the 13, he's going to tuck and get to that space. They have the blind side wing cleaning to leave that 14 uh, free on that open side. And now watch Fukao, he's already directing traffic. What they want to do here now is get a little reverse line. And then what that does to the English forwards is it keeps them from folding. So they preserve that space on the, on the top end of the screen. Watch Fukao, he's already looking. It's a bit of a tight line by the Frenchies, they get uh, taken back in the tackle. So it's still a 3v2 but now with them running out of space, the English could quite negate that uh, fairly easily at the end. So to try and give you an animated graphic of how this map looks like, uh, the French want to hit that channel just outside the 15 meter line, 70-30 split of the field. From there they're going to hit the reverse line to stop that 2, 7, 6 and 8, all of them from folding. So they preserve that space on that uh, open side which they can attack. But still well executed for the French, they're in behind, now they transition into their general shape on attack um, and that brings us to the end of part one please join us next week we're going to look at uh, especially this line break here from Teddy Thomas how the French cleaners at the rack take out that pillar defense for the English and that just creates that disconnect between two and three where he slips through so that's that then for this week uh, ladies and gents again if you like please subscribe to our channel down below leave any comments Special shout out to the guys at RT Software for providing us with some amazing sporting analysis software. Cheers everyone.